Okay, uh, Saturday, March uh, 4th. So today was a very productive day. And so we did crepes for breakfast for the whole family and I made Zuppa Toscana for lunch. So we kind of like, I had a um, very, very productive day. But I can tell you why, it just, um, so yesterday, I shared with you that um, uh, I have worries about um, Mexico, that I'm struggling to wake up uh, at six and I actually can't wake up at six and I was really worried about it. So it's like, okay, what? Like, <laughs> even if they wake me up, I would be like so broken or something, feeling not so good. So. And so I shared it yesterday and asked to pray you about it. And um, so I guess what? <laughs> Today in the morning, so I put my alarm at 6.30 and at 7. So if I can wake up at 6.30, so I can actually wake up at 7. But I woke up at 6 by myself. And it wasn't like woke up and I still want to sleep, you know, and kind of like, so I woke up fully awake, you know, like full of energy. And so that's why I have long day, productive day. And I don't know why it's like immediately, immediately in my head that God did this to show me. He was like, see, I can do it. I can do everything if you trust me. Just trust me because I showed you before so many times that I can do it. Because whenever, if you trust me, I can do everything through you. So everything is possible through Christ Jesus, right? So <laughs> we all know it, but I don't know why. It's just like everyday lives, it just, you. I struggle a lot with, um, all this, I have this knowledge and I have actually experience with this. It's not like I know only from the Bible and that's it, but I I had experience with God in all this, you know, areas life. But somehow during the day you you are caught up in all this routine or something and you start first thinking, you know, uh, what came up in your mind, you know, it's, and you, I worried that I can do this or that or that. I rely on myself and I'm forgetting that I'm, uh, I want to do it, you know, uh, for Christ and I want Christ to do it through me. So I just won't submit myself, but it's so hard because like mostly the daily life we do so many things um by ourselves without thinking asking god um even be honestly yesterday video i didn't pray but today i was sitting i'm like wow if i want to share about god i have to like pray before that god would kind of give me thoughts give me ideas or i don't know even language because this is um not my language so sometimes i'm like uh, searching in my head some right word to say and i think you see it oh so that's it so it's kind of it was a miracle to wake me up at six fully awake and god just did it just gave me one more lesson and he just said okay i'm with you so just trust me and go and don't worry about anything uh and also i um I read the Bible today and it's also not every Saturday I can do this because uh, usually uh, we do during the week I set up like before school we read the Bible we pray I did this routine because I'm not the most organized person I am creative person and sometimes my life just like you know so many things uh, happening and uh, I do this, this, and after that, I think I will read it. I will read it, and I end up in the evening tired, and I can't read in the evening because it's um, not working on me. I can't do any homework or anything like thinking, uh, studying something, so I can do it at night. So it, my brain works in the morning, and if I didn't read my Bible in the morning, 
it's so hard for me. So, uh, and Saturday it's so hard because uh, usually my husband at home and kids and we are kind of like waking up and do routine and I uh, forget to read the Bible. So today uh, I did because I woke up at six. <laughs> so I, I read the Bible and um, uh, something stood up and I was thinking about it. So nothing that goes into a person from outside can defile him, but the things that come out of a person are what defile him. Uh, uh, and it comes like what comes from the people's heart that's come evil thoughts, sexual immorality, thefts, murders, adulteries, blah, blah, blah. All the evil things come from within and defile a person. And uh, I was thinking like about myself and um, I can't say that I would love to, that only good things will come out of me. It's just like my desire and my prayer today, because that's, uh, sometimes, you know, people say whatever you put in and if life shakes you, whatever you have inside, it just uh, comes out. And sometimes when life shakes me, it's not the best thing come out of me. And I know we can't produce by ourselves wild patience and everything. So it's uh, the fruits of the spirit, right? And I just pray God that I would have this, that whenever a situation brings life, that I would have it because um, I visited a person in the hospital and um, uh, she was in the, um, condition that she can control kind of her brain and um, she was grumpy and saying some mean words or something and I was looking and thinking like what if I would be in the same situation you know and uh, I can't control what will come out because um, my sister shared this story about um, I don't remember who but the person was kind of the same condition and he was just worshiping God, you know, and just yeah. saying good words. And I'm like, it's interesting, like what would come out from me if something happened to me. So, and I hope and I pray right now about it because I really want that, you know, I don't even need to control it. I don't need need to think that would be me that would be the work of the holy spirit in me that um, my heart would be filled with love and patience and you know and it would be like so natural because uh, mostly right now i need to put thoughts in it i need kind of like do a lot of things you know like it's not natural to me right now but i pray so much because i really want it um to be light for people for my family be a good example for my kids not like a pharisee you know just uh, because this was what jesus said um, he was saying to the pharisee because they were blaming um uh, followers that um not followers um disciples that they didn't wash hands uh, they didn't do ritual to wash hands and that Jesus said this and um, sometimes we do we cut up in the culture we cut up on something you know that routine we do and forget that um, what is most important you know and uh, this is my wish to to have this kind of heart that um, God can work through me without uh, without kind of like any disruption or something that because you know sometimes it's so easy to work with person through the person and I hope um, I want to be this person that God would easily talk to me and work through me and I wouldn't argue or be stubborn in this situation so this is kind of my um my day, my routine, my um, thinking about the whole day. And I hope one day I can share um, the
the miracle that God did that changed completely my heart, you know, and um, like he did with the waking up. So also I will um, do this um, before Mexico and I want to, if it's possible that there is internet, I will record everything that happened in Mexico and what God uh, does in the Mexico, you know, if not, I will after the Mexico record everything. So, and put some pictures. Uh, okay, so that's it for today.